So recently I got really lucky because I was able to get this miraculous device in sale just for $2.90 and it is called electricity saving box. Intelligent digital and powerful electricity saved device. Adopt the latest and high efficient technique of Germany to save electricity. Save energy sources efficiently, environment friendly. Stabilize the voltage, balance the current. Stand current waveform. Protect the devices, prolong the life of the electric devices. Easy usage, no need maintenance. Saving electricity and money. It's a new type heavy duty, adopt the stylish design in the world, more attractive and noveler of sight, to make a perfect brand of electricity saved products. So this looks really promising. And the basic speculation of the electricity saved box is to let the customer have the stable work electric voltage, blah blah blah, reducing the electric appliances getting fever. That's also interesting. Promoting the power factor can save the fee of adjusting the interest rate of the power supply for the mobile electricity charges can also attain the significant effect then lower. To increase the capacity of using the system equipment can retard the pressure of the switch or circuit convenient installing and using. Save electricity, save money for customers every minute, every second after installing. Guide to use, this is also really important. Plug the electricity saved box in to any socket at home. According to the electric appliances quality and loading carry, can use one or several stanzas electric appliances, can immediately attain the electricity saved effect. Simple operation, no need maintenance, no need pay attention. After installing, however, develop the effect. So I'm really interested in the electricity saved effect. So let's open it up. And there's some manual and the device. <laughs> That's interesting. This must be some special feature. Intelligent energy saver, electricity saving box, the result is the best. So this looks really promising. Let's take a look at the technical parameter. It is for 92 250 volts, 5260 hertz, that's okay. And the useful load is 25,000 watts. That's 25 kilowatts, is this possible? That's a really amazing device. So is it supposed to inject the power into your power socket? This must be a free energy generating device. Now I'm a little afraid to touch the plug. Is it really producing some energy? It doesn't do anything yet, but maybe it's just an over unity device that draws some power from mains and later returns even more into it. So I'm still not sure how to use it, so let's study the manual. Joyce's search for where you at heart, do not forget the electricity saved box brings you happiness. This is important. If you want to read the entire text, you can stop the video for a while. There are some pictures how to plug it in. There is some drawing, how does it work? Before installing, after installing. When using, please be careful when plugging into the sockets. Don't be too rude, avoid damage. After using, don't take off too often. Avoid influencing the results of saving electricity. Don't let the kids touch it, assure the safety. When using, if the indicated light doesn't light, please ask the local agent to exchange it or mend. And this is the great moment, let's try to plug it in. And here we can see two green LEDs. And I was afraid this device is fake, but I see no fashionable blue LEDs, just the green ones. So this must be real. 
And what if I plug it into my power meter? It should show minus 25 kilowatts because it's supposed to inject 25 kilowatts back into the mains. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It draws 0.3 watts. So I'm not sure about this one. Maybe it's just broken. Okay, so let's try to open it up. There is probably a screw under the sticker. And it seems to be the only screw. And here we go. There is something big. And the board. And the plug. The mains comes into the board. No SMD components here. There are two LEDs and some resistors. Four of them. A fuse probably. And something without any marking. Is this the free energy generating device or over unit device? I don't know. So let's draw a schematic of it. And here's the schematic of it. The mains comes in. It goes through a fuse which has no marking on it. Then it goes into a magic free energy generating black box. Which I don't know how it works yet. Then it goes through a 100k resistor and 100 ohm resistor. Then there is a 1 mega ohm resistor. There is another 100 ohm resistor. And there are two LEDs in parallel. Those are 3 millimeter green LEDs. And I was expecting them to be in anti-parallel, but they are both in the same direction. So the free energy is obviously being generated inside this black box. And this circuit is probably just for indication. There is 100k resistor in series with those LEDs. And I have no idea why there are the two 100 ohm resistors because they are basically 1000 times less than this one and they have almost no effect here. And there is also one mega ohm resistor in parallel. And I think this is because the free energy generating box always has to have some minimum load connected to it. And I think those two resistors could be omitted, but maybe I just don't fully understand the principle of free energy generation. And I think the board was supposed to be screwed in, but there are no screws, so it just loose inside. And there's the magical box. So let's find out what it is. So let's plug a light bulb here and the power is 2.8 watts. And now it should save some power. But no, the power is even higher now. And unfortunately it's not working. Maybe it just got damaged in the shipping, but probably it's just a scam, of course. So let's take a closer look at the free energy generating box. Okay, and I should be more careful about this one because it can generate up to 25 kilowatts and that's a serious power. Okay, doesn't do anything. It doesn't power the light bulb. Okay, it doesn't generate any voltage. DC or AC. doesn't generate anything but when I switch it to capacity meter it shows about 1.5 microfarads so is it just a capacitor? so it must be just one big scam So this is definitely not going to generate or save 25,000 watts. 
This is not going to generate or save anything. Just don't trust everything you see. And maybe this capacitor is supposed to compensate the inductive loads in your household, but the problem is that households don't usually pay for inductive loads, just for the real load. And the second problem is that you never know how much inductive load there is, so it can easily undercompensate or overcompensate. And the third problem is that this is just a small capacity, so definitely this is just completely nonsense. This is Diet Gone Wild and see you in my next videos.